Everyone, we're in Presswich. We are on Church Lane, and the church that we're going to is this church in the distance. Now, there's no immediate. No, I'm doing a video. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that lady just asked me if I were lost. So yeah, we're. Um, there's no immediate signs of any graves at all. I'm assuming they're probably around the back. Apparently there's some, oh no there is, there is this grave I can see, but there's some massive monuments in here. It's just not that bloody obvious. So we've got graves, oh, here we go. I mean, literally, very similar to Oldham Church. Look at these ones. Just got like an M in it. Let's go down here and, uh, see what we can find. That church is beautiful, everybody. I'm hoping everything's got an M scratched into it. I don't know what that means. Go there. Look at this grave, everyone. This is one of the most amazing graves I've ever seen. I hope this is Mr. Renshaw's. Let's just have a look at this a minute. That's a stunner. <laughs> that woman's having a chat. Yeah, there's quite a few big monuments, so I'm fairly hopeful. Look at that tree. Now, the only problem is, I can't actually see. Look at that. Here we go. Oh, it's John Brook. Okay. <laughs> Not disappointed. <laughs> this is the sacred, sacred in the memory. Let's try again. Can you see? Yeah. Sacred in the memory of John Brooks, born November. I see new Roman bleeding numerals XX one 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 MD. I'll have to work it out. Died October XXV eleven MD CC CXL. Just spotted another large tomb. In fact, some more over here. We're rocking across this way now. Oh, it's a beautiful cemetery. This. I don't know. This might have to be a video on its own. It's absolutely bleeding, stunning. This is a lovely spot, right under this beautiful tree, which probably actually wasn't there when the tomb was put in place. So this is to the memory of. Lawrence Brock Holling Shed Esquire who died 18 no we didn't yes he did 1859 on his 65th 61st birthday look at that church everybody it's bloody beautiful I don't know how old this church is I didn't do any research on it before I came because I was focusing on other things. Look, they made steps out of the gravestones. Yes, the nameplate on this side. That was a bad design, that, weren't it? The nameplate on this side is also rusted. I mean, that could be Mr. Venshaw's. I wonder what this tells us. So the church, there's a thing here. The Kenyon grave. Oh, here we go, look. The Kenyon grave, sundial, the grave of Thomas Collier's children, grave of Julia Main Young, and the table tomb. The table tomb is over there, I think. But it says, The church is built of Collyhurst red sandstone with a stone and slate roof. Most of the structure is from the 14th century nave. 
The 14th century nave is concealed behind later additions. The three-storey battlement towers dates from the end of the 15th century. Some stone remnants of the Norman building were found during restoration of the tower in 1881. The tower was also altered in 1858 by raising the floor of the belfry, adding a new west window and removing the lower sta stages of a spiral staircase. The weather vane, which you can see on the roof there, that dates from 1781 and the tower house, a peal of eight bells. Can you see that beautiful clock? Um, the highly individual grave is a table tomb of six square legs. That's over there, you can see it. It's carved on top. The initials RMD are carved into the stone. It records the death of Mary Diggles, 1804, age 21, Abram Brownwell, 59, and Jane Walwick. Who have we got here? So this here is the grave of William Ernest Mather. He was a B-A-C-A-M-S. I can't actually read it. I'm going to have to go up here. Of Woodhill Presswich. He died in 1899, I think, age 22. Poor bugger. Let's go down here. Yeah, I mean, there's so many graves. You can't actually get down there unless you jump over the wall, and I'm not doing that. There must be a way in. So this grave here... This is... What? Can't read it. Themistoslis Pandia Petron Pentrochino of Sedgley House Press, which who died 16th of October 1900, age 70. You know what we need to do, everyone? We need to get back up to the top because down here, these are all fairly recent graves and we need a grave that was actually established in 1810 because that's the year that Mr Renshaw passed away and this just isn't doing it it's a wonderful cemetery though I was convinced that other one was going to be that could be is there I think we need to go back up to the top let's just have a quick look see if we can get round here if we can't I'm going to Go back round but it's definitely not going to be down here because these are too new or are they i don't know these are new and these are from the 1960s let's have a walk over here get that noise where is thomas henshaw You know what? I swear to God, I thought so. A fella stood there then in a cloak, and I'm not joking. It must have been that gravestone. Um, I'm not freaked out, as you know. I love graveyards, so definitely not seeing things for you know for being worried. What's this one here? Everyone, look at this. Just noticed this above the church door. It's a plaque. Wow! Listen to this. James, unfortunately his name's gone, James Simister, Jonathan Ogden, John Ramsbottom, Adam Bradshaw, Peter Walker, church wardens, raised this church and rebuilt this porch in 1756. How amazing. The uh, heat or the sun's starting to pick up now. Um, so what I've decided to do, everyone, we're going to do a, we're going to do a last ditch attempt to see what these tombs are over here and then I think we're going to go to the old Jewish cemetery and see what we can find in there there's some tombs over there as well so we're going to check out these tombs I'll let you know who these people are anyway and if we get lucky then we get lucky and if we don't then I suppose we've not lost anything have we we're still seeing a beautiful cemetery or graveyard so oh this is a clegg So this is James, the eldest son of John Clegg of Butts Hill, who died 
February 1870, aged 39 years. Also Elizabeth Jane, wife of John Clegg. Freaking Jesus, she died at 29. Poor bugger. I bet she died in childbirth or something, or maybe a pneumonia or something. I don't think they had antibiotics back then, did they? Let's have a look down here. Ooh. So this is Abraham Smith, who died at Warren Chase Fallowfield near Manchester on the 1st of August, 1863, age 59. Also Isabella, his wife. But there you go. This is in, oh God, that's, am I reading right? His name is either John Slag, S-L-A-G-G, or Slayug, or Slang. See where I'm coming from? Because do you see the end of the name? It looks like it's been carved in. I think that's Slag, who died of Manchester, of Manchester, who died February 1873. Robert Faulkner, a squire of Broughton Park, died the 31st, 1869, age 56. Also, Jane Elizabeth Faulkner, wife of Robert, she died age 36. May Lee died 14 days, oh, and then Lucy Ellen, seven months. <sighs> William Waithman, formerly of Westville in Paris, in the parish of Presswich, who died 1869. Yeah, I think we've had it, everyone. But a very, 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 very interesting graveyard, to say the least. But we are struggling a little bit. If it's not any of these, then I'm going to, really, I'm going to call it a day and get in the car because I'm boiling. So this is William S. Still, Esquire of Broom House. Oh! Oh, Cheetah Mill, Manchester. There was a broom house in Oldham. Um, he was born in Philadelphia in 1797 and he died in London 1863. And also, Anne Eliza, his wife, died the 20th of August, 1867. And her mother, Mary Anne. Wow, interesting. And then we've got, oh, we've got a sir here. Oh, wow. Wow, amazing, look at this. So William Furburn, LLD, first baronet of Ardwick. Wow, Ardwick in Manchester, who would have known they had a baronet? Uh, born the 19th of February 18, uh, 17, 1789, but buried, sorry, died August 1874. Then Dorothy, Dame Dorothy, wife of the above. She was born in 70, 1791 and died 1882. But off lived good long lives, didn't they? They definitely did. Um, there's some really interesting names in the cemetery. I want to go to the Jewish cemetery. We're going to do the Jewish cemetery in part two of this, and then we'll go to Oldham and we'll do Henshaw Street. But we've got a beautiful grave here. And this is to the sacred memory of Louis Novelli, who died on the 14th of October, 1848. He was 35. We've got nothing on this side, but then on this side we've got his wife. Harriet's widow of Louis Novelli. She died in 1850, 32 years old. Wow. Look at this, everyone. Would you come through here on... Um, well, this fellow was a priest, look. Thomas Wilkinson, priest, 1943. Yeah, would you... Um, I just want to look at the front of this grave here. It's all worn off. I don't think we'll be able to read it, that white one. I nearly slipped before where there's all um, stuff on the floor, like 
you know, from the trees. And it's just making everything really... I should have put my trainers on, really, I didn't think. <gasps> this one's open. Oh, no. You automatically think, don't you, that you're going to see a coffin, but, I mean, this is just, this is just ornamental, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, this is John Sidwell, yeah, son of John and Margaret Wood. Right, everyone, let's get over. I'm sure we've got some interesting graves that I've managed to find here, some interesting people. I mean, that's something else, that. That is just beautiful. But I can't um, find it. I'll just read some of these names as we're going out. The path is literally just... So you've got John Butterworth of Umsworth. Adam Sharrox. He died 1791. 1824, James Walton. Kay Bradshaw, 1853. Right, we've had it, everybody. Let's go to the Jewish cemetery.